with our excellent international team of professors, we are striving each and every semester to improve that program, to ensure that our students, our wonderful students, have the skills they need going into their future. Now, as a parent, whenever I see the news, there are many things that concern me. We see threats these days to democracy, threats to science, and perhaps threats to life itself. Now, I ask myself, what is it that creates these concerns for me in a supposed age of prosperity? Now, I think back to an old saying, it's not what you say, it's actually how you say it. Nice. <laughs> so, what we are trying to do with PAE is to equip the students today with the skills they need to face these challenges tomorrow. Now, tonight, we are going to see students from all across the campus, from many different schools, many different departments. And they are going to be telling us exactly what is it that they think is the greatest challenge facing this country and what they can do or what path this country needs to take in the future. So I hope tonight you can walk away from here feeling more informed, more enlightened, and hopefully a little bit more hopeful for the future. <laughs> now, I would like to begin or open this contest with a few words from CEEC director, Dr. Seungyeon Kim. Okay. Good evening, everyone. As the director of the College English Education Program, I'm very pleased to host two, two events this semester, a presentation contest and essay writing contest. These events deserve special attention and that oral presentation and writing skills are two core competencies in this era of globalized world. Both competencies involve production skills in language use that are challenging but necessary in conducting professional skills across diverse fields. Language production allows students to practice higher order thinking skills while pulling together ideas in persuasive discourse. This year, we have received a number of applications for these two contests. I'd like to thank all those students who took time and exerted their efforts for these events. <coughs> Let's give them a big hand to recognize their passion. <laughs> I also would like to express my sincere gratitude to Dr. Kyung Soo <coughs> Kim and Ms. So Yeon Chong and all the faculty members who made these events possible through their collaborative efforts. Let us recognize their concerted efforts in planning these two events. First of all, for the presentation contest, Michael Brandon as a chair and Kimberly Blount, she's right there as the co-chair, led the presentation contest planning committee. Prior to the contest, Adam Turner, Gary Turnham, Mark Rubley, Mark McShay and Richard Prasad, they supported the committee as first screening evaluators. Today, Shelley Collins, Brian Wildeboer, Esther Olenhab, Ian Johns, and Douglas McIntosh will serve as the judges. Brian Wildeboer will also manage time as a timekeeper, and Eunice Trey. And Nathan Lucas will serve as score checkers. And Stacey Che and Elizabeth Yoon will play their roles as plagiarism checkers. We also have Matthew Clement and Hugh Newton and Glenn Swafford as the Green Room team. Ed Totliff and Jessica Warren are in charge of pictures and videos. And finally, Victor Rizer as the MC of the presentation contest. They all deserve special recognition, so why don't we give them a big hand to show our appreciation for I also would like to thank the writing contest planning committee, Mark Lubli as the chair, and Andreas V as the co 
Chair. <laughs> Let the writing of this panel to me. Specifically, Andreas B., Esther Du Plessis, right there, and Samantha F. X. Smith. They worked as proctors on the test day. For first round scoring, many faculty members participated as raiders, including Michael Brandon, Nathan Lucas, Hugh Newton, there, Jessica Warren, <laughs> Samantha Affleck Smith, Mark McShay, and Andreas B, and Richard Prasad. Where are you, Richard? <laughs> at the back. Considering that about 100 students signed up for the contest, we need many raiders. Unfortunately, many of our CEC faculty members willingly signed up to be the raiders. For the final round evaluation, Gary Turnham, right there, and Glenn Swafford, and Stacy Che, will participate as reviewers. Finally, thanks should go to Andreas B who is the MC of the writing contest today, and to Ed Toplif, who's been taking pictures here and there as a photographer. As you can see, so many people have been involved in the preparation of these two events. They all deserve special acknowledgement, so let's give them, give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank once again all the student participants who are here today. It must have taken some courage to participate in these public events. I hope these two events will provide you some opportunities to observe and learn from your peers and chances to network with other people and to recognize good work and sincere efforts. Thank you again for your participation. Let's get started. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kim. So from now on, You'll be guided through the evening by our MC, Mr. Victor Risa. My mic's over here. <laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, it's over there. Oh, okay, I was just borrowing this one for a second. Thank you. 